Chainbase is the third company I've started, and I've never had an idea, even a tenth, as good. My partner and I have patented the remote control of a human being. Hi, I'm Estella. I'm your Shenbei agent today. And we're getting ready for our event on Saturday where we've got 12 women. And we're going to take them remote control shopping right here in Boxy Pearl. Can you hear me on the loudspeakers? My name is Vlad Ruktsov. I'm responsible for executing the, our first um, sort of demo um, live event. The idea is to combine shopping with entertainment because as I've personally experienced, you go out to these uh, weird marketplaces here and you kind of get into the spirit of uh, haggling and uh, discussing prices and walking away from the storekeeper and coming back and it's kind of fun. Hello, nice to meet you, Stephen Bell. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Right. Changbei is remote control shopping. Mm -hmm. We've got teams mm -hmm. here in Shanghai that we strap with video cameras mm -hmm. and internet connection mm -hmm. and we send them out into the coolest shops all around Shanghai and they're streaming video real time to America. Mm -hmm. yep. In America we have these women who have lots of time mm -hmm. and lots of money mm -hmm. and we're giving them something fun to do which is go shop in mm -hmm. Shanghai. Mm -hmm. The idea is to combine the variety of eBay and the fun of reality TV and Shangbei's first fun mm -hmm. and people want to keep coming back and tell all their friends. I actually think Steve is a perfect salesman. Our first t-shirts, these things are going to be worth a bazillion dollars. You see that? Shangbei. But he scores zero on patience scale. This is important right now. Not only Steve lacks any kind of patience, but if you share your worries with Steve, he, he like interprets that as a sign of inadequacy, right? <laughs> like it needs to work. Forget you. But I'm the kind of guy, I'm, I'm the meticulous, detail-oriented uh, person. I, I'm testing. I need to test. Test, test everything. I'm not worried about anything. Vlad worries about everything. He's like amazingly confident. The actor? No, I'm the CEO of a company I just started called oh. Changbei, where we do remote control shopping. Speak Chinese? No, just Niha. My English is good, yes. <laughs> I'm Yubin, and I'm a student from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and I'm very excited to know that I will be the first shopping agent. Today, we go to this amazing market called Yuyuan. It's a traditional China garden here and it has all kinds of things you can imagine in China. What's fun about coming to Shangbei is you get to come to the Yuyuan Gardens. Look at this place. It's a fun place. Hi, how are you? So what we're doing here is we're holding our first shopping event where my wife's gathered a group of a dozen ladies in Austin, Texas, and they're going shopping at the coolest pearl market in Shanghai. We will connect through the internet a store here in Shanghai with a shopping party uh, back in Austin, Texas. They put one camera fixed on the table, one camera wide shot, and a penny could start showing us pearls. And then Yu Bing is hearing from the woman in America what to do and what to look at. But hold on, just wait. Turn your camera off and turn your camera on and then it'll connect. Oh, well, we, this doesn't need to work right now, right? Well, it'd be good if we could, if we could I mean, it'd, it'd be good to make sure that it's going to happen. Now see if it got it. Oh, there we go. I see it. Show me the cheapest ones again. How much are those cheapest ones, you Bing? This one is the cheapest one, and you can see it. It only cost you 15. And then what's the next better quality? I think we need to figure out whether we can do this with two cameras connected to the computer and whether uh, we can also do the necessary cabling for audio and whether we will not uh, fall over each other running all these cables. So we're about to use exit 10 out of 14 exits of this uh, subway station and uh, we should find ourselves in the middle of a huge electronics market. We sell, uh, Firewire cable, where you can probably find anything you want, as long as you know how to identify it in Chinese or uh, by pointing to it. Next Up. Okay. Awesome. And what I'm looking for is shorter uh, Firewire device cables, not USB, not CDMA, Firewire to help us with our dual camera mixing problems. Firewire cable. Yeah. Needs short. How much is it? 
One five. For one. Forty. Forty for two. So uh, our live event will happen tomorrow. This is like the last trip I have time for, I think. My pulse is probably about 110, right? Just standing here. I'm feeling fine. I'm not nervous. My pulse rate is absolutely normal. <laughs> You almost ready? Let's go. Where's the other mic? Yeah, just let's broadcast. Yeah, here, you Bing. Can you wear this also? Okay. Okay, Chad, can you hear us now? Great. We almost ready, Vlad? Now, do you have audio in Austin? Testing one, two, three. Are we broadcasting? Gary, you got it. Chad, how's the audio? Great. And the girls can hear me? Great. It's so much better. They can hear you perfectly now. Hi, ladies. I hope you're all having fun in Austin, Texas. Hello, I'm Vivian, and this is a for my shop. It's a Dasi Pearls from the Shanghai in the Pearl City. I give you two hundred dollars. Sixty-five dollars. Give me sixty-five, please. They want to start buying. Ten fresh ten dollar bracelets. I bought way more than I should have. Three hundred and forty-five dollars. The whole thing. For the whole thing, not just a set of pearls. I mean, the whole thing. I didn't anticipate buying anything, actually, to be perfectly honest. What made me most excited was that people were excited and they just wanted to shop. I bought two white pearl sets. I bought a black pearl set and I bought um, 10 freshwater pearl bracelets. I would have been happy with two orders, right? <laughs> Vivian, who was the, uh, the Chinese seller, seller. The Chinese seller. In Daxi Pearl Company. She, she, she had never done so much business in so little time. Shangbei <laughs> is an idea that will help bring two countries together. And we say it without feeling like we're trying to sell you something, right? It's, it's really, um, we found something that's good in China and we want more people in the U.S. to see it. I do believe that we can cause an enlightenment in America about the beautifulness of China and Chinese people and Chinese culture. I, I'm wondering, people in the U.S. What do they think? What is the difference from Chinese people and American people? And I think I got that answer through the internet. People are similar, you know. We think almost the same things. I think today Americans see a largely one-sided view of China. We hear about pollution and environmental problems and losing our jobs. What we don't see is that these are great people just like us. The only difference is they're in China and we're in America. I hope three years from now I can look and say, yeah, Shangbei is making a difference. I think we will be one of the companies that will be bringing about uh, a new level of convergence between technologies like film and, and, and TV and, and web, right? And I think what we're doing, we're basically doing live web TV. TV, yeah. I, I hope, will be recognized as one of the pioneers, pioneers in, that, in that new field. Shangbei is a way to help fun and to know China. The operation will be on a much larger scale eventually, and very soon we'll be streaming more content out of China than CNN and BBC uh, taken together. We've got a head start on everybody. We've got a patent on the whole remote control shopping process, and we're going to win. Goodbye, Goodbye from, from Shangbei. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. There was a.
slide there, a sink there.